Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Samsung refrigerator temperature sensor. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new temperature sensor. The temperature sensor tells the control board the temperature of the fresh food section. The manners you'll be changing it out is if it's failed and the fresh food section is getting warm. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the fresh food door. Now that we have the door open, we can take out these three upper shelves. Once you have everything off of them, all you have to do is pull them out till they stop. And you can lift up on them, pull them out the rest of the way. With the shelves out of the way, we can remove this access cover down here. We're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to take out the screw. Once you have the screw out, we're going to take a small flathead screwdriver and get underneath it and lift up on the panel so the tabs release on each end. Then we can pull down to release the upper locking tabs. Once you have that out, you can set it aside. Now we can use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the two upper screws that that panel was covering. Now we can take out these three covers. We're going to use a small flathead screwdriver to carefully pop them out so we can take the screws out. Now we can use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws. Once you have that upper screw out, we have to take the light lens off. So we're just going to reach in. And there's some locking tabs across the front. We're just going to kind of flex it to get them to come free. And then we can lower it down and pull it out. Once you have it out, you can set it aside. Now that we have the light lens out of the way, we can take out these last two screws that hold this whole assembly to the wall. Now that we have all the screws out, we can reach up and pull this duct assembly off the back wall. You don't want to pull too far, only a couple inches, so we can disconnect the wire harnesses. Once you have the duct assembly off the wall, we can reach in. On the right hand side, there's a locking tab that we have to press on each of these wire harnesses to release them so we can pull them off. Now that we have the wiring harness is disconnected, we have to take the duct out of the refrigerator. So we're going to come down to the bottom and pull this piece away from the wall a little bit so it gives us some space to take the duct out. Once you have the duct free, we can pull it out of the refrigerator. Now that we have the duct out of the fresh food section, we have access to the temperature sensor. It's up here at the top. We're going to use a flathead screwdriver to take it out. We're going to get this wiring harness out of the way, and then we're going to use the small flathead screwdriver to help lift up on these little tabs that hold the wire harness in. And we're going to lift the wire harness out and pull the sensor out. Once you have the sensor out, then we can just work the wire out from underneath this bracket. Once you have it out, you can pull it off the duct assembly. Here's the old temperature sensor next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Looks like they redesigned it. It now has a hard sensor and the wire is a little bit shorter, but it'll go in and work fine. Because the new temperature sensor doesn't compress like the old one, we're going to trim these mounting tabs off a little bit with the wire cutters to make them a little bit wider so the sensor bulb will fit in there. Once you have those widened out, we can put the sensor in there. 
and we're going to mount it with the wire coming out the other way because it's shorter and we want to make sure that we have enough length in order to plug it in. This doesn't have to go in there all that tight, it just has to sit here so it's in the ambient air. Once you have it in place, we can route the wire underneath the clip back here. Once you have it installed, we can put the duct assembly back into the refrigerator. To put the duct back in, we're going to set the base down. We're going to have to pull out on this piece right here in order to get the duct to drop down into it. You have to pull it on each side to get it to go in. Once you have it all the way in like that, then we can push it back up into its channel. Once you have it in position, you can reach behind and reconnect the wire harnesses. You can't mix these up, they can only go on one way. The white one goes on the upper one, and the blue is on the lower. You want to make sure they go on and get a good connection and they lock. Once you have it in place, we can push the duct assembly up into place and put the screws back in. Now the way the top two screws in, we can put the light lens back on and then run the screws all the way down to the bottom of the duct. All you have to do is line it up and then lift it up into place, making sure that these locking tabs go in. Once you have it snapped into place, we can put the screw in. Now that we have the screws in, we can put the covers on. All you have to do is reach in and snap them on. Now that we have the covers on, we can put the lower screws in. Now we can put the last cover on. All you have to do is line it up. There's four tabs on the top. You want to make sure those go up into their openings. Once you have the upper tabs in, you can lower it down and snap the lower ones in. Once you have the panel in place, we can put the screw in. Now we can put the shelves back in. All you have to do is line these up and push them all the way back in. Now that we have the shelves in, we can close the refrigerator door, plug it back in, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.